Renters looking to escape the northern winters come fall and winter season may have a tight market here in our area thanks to Hurricane Ian, or they may find that anyway. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney live in West Palm Beach for us this evening looking into what it may do to rent prices. Matt? Shannon, Hurricane Ian certainly didn't do anything close to the damage it did in the Fort Myers area. That much is true, but all that damage over there is now apparently starting to put some pressure on a rental market here that was just beginning to calm down. The damage to Florida's west coast now has the potential to send snowbirds east to South Florida. Unfortunately, I was just talking to a potential tenant who obviously had to cancel because the house is no longer standing and they're looking here in South Florida. Real estate professional Carolina Barefoot says the short term rental market here is already feeling the pressure as if South Florida wasn't already a popular destination for short term rentals in winter. Now demand is rising from the north and the west and so are the rents. They are amplifying whereas you had tenants that only wanted to be in Palm Beach County. Now they're open to Martin County. They're open to Broward and potentially Dade. We are absolutely still in a crisis to say that we're coming to say that we're out of the crisis is not true. Ken Johnson at the Real Estate Initiative at Florida Atlantic University says rent hikes are slowing, but Ian is likely to drive up seasonal rents and even affect long term renting by slowing down new construction. We still have a problem. The market is correcting itself, but this is going to slow down that correction. Well, the agent we spoke to said some of those luxury seasonal condos that normally would go for $3,000 a month are now going for upwards of $5,000 a month. And she says those landlords, they're looking for longer terms now in the winter season, as long as six months. It's a lot of money. We're live in downtown West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.